hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video so let's get started so here yeah, i'm going to use four by four inches then resolution is 300 these are the resources i'm going to use in this tutorial all right reduce the size again it's okay like this then rasterize it hold down your shift control plus u to desaturate then create a layer mask increase your brush to then and blend over this area all right then you can see the opacity there then input the number of the opacity then now copy this code again create another solid color then you paste the code then apply multiply Now drag this light flare then you can see there change it to overlay then I'll reduce the opacity okay then copy the text there bring this one in and then position it over here then you apply the blending option and you reduce the opacity then apply your layer mask then you brush over here then select the light flare apply your layer mask pick your brush then you brush the edge over here so it's okay now copy your test ctrl c to copy select your test tool then ctrl v to paste Then you change the font to this font here. 
I will leave the font name in the description. Then reduce the opacity of that oil. So you leave it like this. Okay. Then position your test. Copy again, then Ctrl V to paste. Reduce the size, then pull the character space. Then go to bloody option, then to adjust. A drop shadow I think this is okay like this then you position it apply vertical alignment then you copy this test here then control V to paste then you close the character space zero then change the color to red I think this dark red is okay but if you want you can make it more light I'm typing it manually. Outpouring. Then I'm going to copy this color code here. Then paste the code. Then I'm going to change the font. So to this font name here yeah. so i will leave the font in the description so i can make use of it then position it this way okay now the next thing i'm going to do now Duplicate it. Then convert it to smart object. Apply drop shadow. So this way is okay.
then bring the calendar icon then change it to white all right then type the dates then close the character space then reduce the size then duplicate this one ctrl j then drag it down Then type the month. And then reduce the size. Then position this one properly. Now I'm going to select them together then group it and increase it bring the time icon okay now go to adjustment hue to change it to white now type the time increase the size And change the font reduce the font size of the PM all right then position it well it's okay like this Then group it Rename them Use your arrow key to move it up Then apply drop shadow. Okay. Then do the same thing to this one. Then draw a rectangle over here. Then change the color to white.
then bring in this location icon position it over here reduce the size then go back to change it to white then copy the location then ctrl v to paste and you reduce the size then apply vertical alignment then bring this icon close then that is the color i want to use on it centralize it increase it a bit this way all right then close the space a bit circle like this then increase it a bit then I centralize it Then I think it's okay like this. Group them, I'll rename them. The background. And this is the location. So that is it for the tutorial. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a camera raw to change the color effects. So play with it to get your desired color and then you click OK All right so there is the outcome thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe like share and make a comment thanks